How's it going guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm Leon and this is Progressive Pond Keeping. Uh, yeah, so just a bit of maintenance in this video. Um, I've got to give the shower on the main pond a good clean because uh, that hasn't been done since I put that media in there. It's been about five months. I'd have to check the date when I uploaded the first video. Um, but yeah, that mountain tree lotus root's been in about four, four or five months now. So yeah, that needs a clean. Um, even though the sieve does take out 99% of the gack before it touches the media like so uh, and then uh, yeah just my general clean on the fry tank so I'm going to do the filters the three barrel filters and the backy shower so yeah right let's crack on with that and I'll be back in a minute cheers guys right then guys let's get cracking with this that shower is 100% going to need a uh, jet wash off today Boil these down, top my salt back up, and we'll have a look at the fry. Not much going on with the main pond at the minute. Feeding them about twice a day, just a little scattering here and there, because uh, my water temperature is rather low. But yeah, I, uh, I uh, emptied the shower filter on the main pond the other day, give that a good clean out, so I'll add that video on in a minute. Um, but yeah. We'll get cracking in a sec. Doubtful you'll see anything through this net, but we'll fetch it off in a minute. Whilst I am cleaning. But yeah, right, I'll be back in a minute. Let's get cracking. How's it going guys? Right, um, this mountain tree lotus root has been here in around four or five months. So it's about time I get it a little clean. Got a bit of fly larvae and a few bits and bobs in it like. Thankfully though, we've had zero erosion. Looks to have matured up quite well, but yeah, a little bit of algae, a little bit of gack. So I'm going to give them a, a rinse in a bucket of water. Obviously, the obligatory dead flight, <laughs> but yeah, really chuffed with this media so far. The water quality has been spot on with it. Oh, yeah, happy days. No erosion yet, which is brilliant. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to give these a little jostle in some water and get the shower back on. Cheers guys. Right, that's all the media cleaned. I'm not going to bother cleaning the uh, algae or biofilm, whatever it is, off the sides. Uh, all I've done, like I say, is jostle them about in the uh, water. And luckily, these sort of uh, plastic net things that are on them, if you swish them round like that, it scrubs the outside of them for you. So, yeah, bonus. But thankfully, no erosion yet, like I say. But uh, we'll crack on and I'll be back soon. Cheers, guys. Right then, guys, let's uh, take you through my maintenance. You're probably not going to see, but um, down by the pump, there's a few bits of gack that, that uh, hasn't been taken up into there. So, time to back it out with my super fan dangled bit of hose pipe on a stick. But yeah, I'll just siphon it out, the little bits of gack that are on the bottom. And then uh, we'll move on to jet washing the shower screen off, or should I say foams. Right, I'm going to uh, siphon the bottom of this and I'll be back in a sec. Right, here's a view you don't see very often. I guarantee you these foams are overflowing. Yep. So I shall jet wash them off now, get them all cleaned up, but I can't get that off. The media in all these trays is really clean still. Let's just take these out for a second. Pop them down there. Yeah, I mean that's the top tray. The rest are just, just as clean. So yeah, right. Let's jet wash these manky things off now. To be fair, these do most of the mechanical work because the pump is more powerful on the uh, on the shower than it is on the uh, barrel system. So yeah, that's not too bad couple of days worth so yeah I'll just get the pressure washer on that now get that all clean get it back in and uh, yeah move on to the boiling the barrels up right whoa fingers right, so basically all I do is do that just jet wash it all down the drain then get all, get all that down the drain jobs are good and Yeah. 
not that you want to see me jet, jet washing bloody foams off but um, yeah so I'm just going to do this to the other side get that one done and get them back in right that's them nice and clean now just arrange them back up get them back in and get these boiled up right that's the shower screen done just going to uh, check what my salt levels are this morning Swap hands over, sorry. Okay. So we're about 0.14. So once I've done my uh, filter cleans, obviously it's going to change some water. Um, then I'll top the salt back up. I've been doing up to about 0.3, 0.2, 0.3. Um, other than one little cat here with a tiny, uh, I say a tiny, with an ulcer on its side which I have treated, uh, everyone else seems fine at the minute, but I'm cutting them right back on the food, the heat has been off now for a couple of weeks, so uh, these are just at ambient temperatures, and luckily when Matt built this tank he put foam in, so it doesn't fluctuate too much, because it's slightly insulated, um, although the cover I've got on is not airtight obviously, it's, uh, it's just something I've put over to keep the wind chill off. So yeah, I'm going to lose a lot of heat through the top, but eventually I will have a shed and a roof and everything over this. So uh, some big perspex windows, let a lot of the sunlight in. But yeah, everybody is looking mega. I have to get these uh, two Yugenji Garashi Goy out. There they are in the same frame. Uh, give them a little measure soon. Being as we're going into winter, I'm not going to be heating them. So they are part of the growing show, Walker Koi growing show. So, yeah. And I'm just wafting on as usual. So I'm just enjoying seeing these in the sunlight. Look really nice in the sun, to be fair. Starving as always. There's the one with the monkey mouth. Still not sure what to do with that fish yet, but. Really, it needs knocking on the head. Oh, well, that's not that I do that. I just put sedate in and leave them, but you know what I mean. Right, I'm waffling on now. Let's get on with these barrels. Right, you've all seen this many times. Um, so, yeah, I've just turned these off now. Um, this, obviously, goes to the bottom of the next tank. So, all I do with that is pull that out, put this in to blank it off, fill it up, and then boil it with the air pump. So... I'll get that in there now and then we'll uh, crack on and the drain runs straight into the drain so yeah get this in now and get it boiling right I sat boiling over now it's not as dirty as I thought like I say most of the mechanical is done by the um, foams in the top of the shower because uh, I think that's got 5,000 ish litres per hour uh, this is only two, so yeah, most of the waste gets drawn up into there. But yeah, give this one a boil, give that one a boil, top back up, top the salt back up, happy days. Right, leave that to boil for about 10 15 minutes and then I'll be back. Right, so yeah, that just goes straight down into the drain to waste. So yeah, this has been boiling a while now. Empty that one. And yeah, put all that straight down, out to waste, and down into the drain. Not the most uh, interesting footage, I know, but you know, I thought I'd try and get back at doing some sort of videos for you. So yeah, that one's uh, done now. I'll boil that twice, boil this once, and then top back up. Right. I'll be back in a sec. Right, while that's boiling over, we're going to have a quick glance at the main pond. It's just ticking over. I mean, they're still mega, mega active. And last time I checked the temps, it was about seven degrees. But um, yeah, they're still wanting food, but I'm just giving them a little trickle twice a day at the minute um, while they're still eating it. But they, I mean, the way these are acting, it's like it's bloody summer still. I mean, they've slowed down, but they're still wanting loads of food. But 
unfortunately I can't give it to them oh yeah but these are all doing fine a few will be moving on out of here in the spring but I'll let everyone know in case anyone wants the ones I'm moving on etc so yeah let's go and have a quick look at the temps can't see it being very warm but right. 6.9 not good 9.1 was the max, I don't know what day that was because I ain't been down here for a couple of days min 6.8 jeez not very warm at all but yeah, not that they'd know uh, not that you'd know any difference from the way they're acting anyway I've got to go I'll boil them filters up tomorrow in there give them a, a clean but yeah everything's uh, tickety-boo down here 6.9 and they're still wanting food crazy absolutely crazy Susan always wants food though you mate eh? oh yeah we feed all day and all night if I let you eh? greedy little girl bless her come in here look greedy guts Oh, your milk, are you, mate? <laughs> oh, God. But, yeah. Right. Now I am just waffling on, aye, aye. Right, I'll be back in a sec. Uh, just thought I'd mention, you're probably all aware, if you've got, like, an easy card or Nexus or anything that uses K1 for mechanical, you, you're always going to get a little bit of heavy stuff that sticks around the bottom somewhere on your system, so definitely worth swishing it about especially while it's draining you do that get any heavy stuff around to where the drain is but um, yeah at least once a year you want to empty your K1 out vac all the bottom out jet wash it get it nice and clean obviously go clean your media just give it a rinse off and get it back in but yeah right drain this one down now crack on with tank 2 Barrel two had a good boil. Drain this one down now. As I say, tank two never really gets as dirty as uh, tank one, to be honest. Just a secondary mechanical, really. And then obviously the moving beds in there. Very rare I clean that. Sort of self cleaning. Probably once or twice a month, if that. Just empty it down, give it a brush round, but when you drain it off there's never any waste in there it's normally just gin clear water to be honest so obviously it's running slow through this and through all that before it gets to the moving bed so yeah all right i'm going to put all this stuff away now um get it all back up and running and then uh, carry on topping up right back in a sec all right that's all that done got to top back up now these a bit of food. That has to be their lunchtime feed. These are still on three a day. That amount three times a day, which is just that little pot. Right, we'll see more right at the moment. And yeah, that one with the monkey mouth, he still manages to feed. Just sort of scoops the food into his mouth, but. Yeah, I'll probably give him till next week and I'm going to have to uh, euthanise him because, you know, it's not fair for him to struggle away with his dodgy mouth. But the ones we've got left are pretty nice still, thankfully. We'll uh, see how they do through the winter. But they're going to have a proper winter in this tank. Obviously no heater, ambient temperature, so it's going to probably get very cold. But, uh, yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying now. I'm just waffling on watching these fish. Right, yes, I'm waffling on too much now. I'm going to get my verk on in, uh, check my salt levels once it's topped back up, and amend it from there. Like so, yeah, right, I'll be back soon. Right then, uh, yeah. 
not a massive amount of content in that video just sort of like blog style of me what i'm doing cleaning my filters etc you know what i mean just sort of try and get something out there because i'm struggling for content now i never used to never used to struggle at all i just film everything and put it out like but um yeah come spring i'll have loads of bits and bobs to do uh plenty content so yeah um right as always people a massive massive thank you for watching and i'll speak to you soon cheers guys